I'm the TLC Vice President at the Open Atom Foundation. Um, today I'll share how Open Euler is transforming AI training, inference, uh, and OS management in the open source landscape. Uh, please welcome Dr. Sean Wei. Step. So we, I will introduce uh, the latest uh, one year. What about the progress of open Google on the AI uh, year? Because everyone is talking about AI, uh, open Google is doing the same same job. And the last uh, year uh, in uh, OSSEU, uh, our ch chairman of the technical committee, uh, Hu Xinwei, has released our uh, AI strategy and planning. And now. Uh, t uh, today, I bring some the new things which is we have implemented implement some of the AI uh, stack and technology. Uh, for the open user, our AI uh, strategy is very simple. We call it uh, AI for OS and OS for AI. AI for OS means we want to use AI technology to rebuild the service of open user, uh, the operating system or the component in the operating system. For example, I want to, we want to use the natural uh, language to communicate with the uh, operating system. So that is kind of direction. The other is the OS for AI. That means we want to use it uh, uh, to build the AI stack, open source AI stack to make the developer easier and make the uh, AI uh, computing, uh, accelerate the computing. So that is the two uh, target. Okay, so for the AI, for OS, we have built some kind of agent. For example, the OE uh, de development agent, OE deploy, it can deploy the AI stack very easily. And uh, the tuning agent, the maintenance agent, a tuning, a tune, and uh, a ops, they can use the AI to uh, do the performance tuning and the maintenance. Uh, we have, in Open Euro, we have used the AOPS to do the security uh, inspection. It can increase. Uh, at least 30% of the efficiency. And uh, all of the agent system is powered by the uh, AI uh, agent framework. Uh, open Euler, we build AI agent platform, we, we call it Open Euler Intelligence. So on top of the intelligence, you can very easily to develop your AI agent system. So here is a very simple example. So this is the new installation system for open user, you can use the language to talk with the system to the installer that how you want to build or install the uh, open user system. So you can say, hey, we'll do the uh, installation according to your uh, command, and then they will give the summary. So that's a very simple uh, example. So on top of the uh, open user intelligence, not only we do the installation system, tuning system, or something like that, but also we provide a kind of uh, a system which can help you to use your private data to do your own training, to build your uh, private knowledge-based system, for example, the answering system or so, uh, something like that. So that is also an example that uh, on the left is a question answering system without a no, uh, private knowledge base. And then on the right is what uh, after we uh, use open user intelligence to uh, put your uh, private data into the system and do the training, and then you will get a very good answer, very perfect answer. So that is also the, uh, what the uh, intelligence uh, done uh, during the last uh, uh, one year. And uh, the, the advantage is you can use a very simple drag and drop to do the job, so it's very easy to use. Okay, so that is the uh, uh, AI for OS. For OS for AI, I think we have we are facing two uh, three challenges. The first one is uh, in the inference system, we are facing a lot of different kind of hardware. It's not easy to handle the difference of the hardware. The second tra uh, challenger is 
the AI stack and the software evolve very, very quickly. So how to make a turnkey solution to the customer or deliver is also kind of challenging. The third challenge, of course, performance. How to accelerate the uh, AI computing, especially every the, uh, uh, all of the AI uh, chipset hardware are very expensive. So what about the open user solution? Our solution, we call it uh, intelligence boom. So that is the pure or full open source AI stack. Uh, and in the bottom, we uh, provide the operating system and also we provide the RM cache. Uh, Falcon FS is kind of PV file system which can provide a very high performance PV uh, capability. And the GMAP is kind of a, a mechanism that we can uh, unify the CPU memory with the GPU memory or other device memory, make it become a unified memory pool. That we also can uh, improve the efficiency and also output. And also we provide the compiler, vision compiler. And for the task management, we provide, a, you can choice, you can do some choice. You can choose uh, Kubernetes or Ray. And also we provide uh, work with the OpenFL uh, community to OpenFL is another kind of cluster management, management system, open source system. For the data management, you can choose, uh, I think the most important part is the vector database. So that's very, very critical for the AI computing. So we provide, the, for example, the PG vector, but also we work with the open GOS uh, community. Open GOS also provides a very high performance vector database uh, system. And uh, for the operation acceleration layer, we provide the PyTorch, TensorFlow, or Ansible, this is the framework. And for the acceleration layer, we, of course, KE Transformer is very popular, but we also provide a very new project, which, which is SysHex and uh, Expert Key. And uh, we have the service level, and on top of that, that is, uh, we build the open user intelligence I just uh, mentioned in the previous slide. So that is the uh, stack. And what the stack is based on are all of the open source uh, light model, for example, the DeepSeq, the Chenwin, because in China there are a lot of, almost all of the popular uh, model, light model are open source. So by this, I think we can deliver very uh, easy to use AI stack, and they are all open source, and also we can provide a very high performance uh, AI stack. Okay, I will do some uh, rough introduction of the two projects, one is the SysHex. The SysHex idea is very simple. When you do the inference in Java, uh, it including the decode, uh, prefill decode. So we can, the, the uh, SysHex can divide the uh, uh, prefill and decode and allocate them into different uh, uh, handling uh, the, the, the node, for example, the CPU or GPU or other uh, Chipset. So that we, uh, for our uh, testing, uh, if you use the uh, CPU to accelerate, it can in increase the throw up to the 10 to 30 percent, depending on what the model is, and uh, the concurrency increases 10 per, uh, 5 percent. And for that the kit, it's another kind of acceleration. It will uh, divide the experts into cold or warm or hot. So then. It will schedule, use the MOE swapper, it's kind of uh, MOE swapper to schedule the code maybe into the CPU and the hot to the GPU or other uh, chipset, so that also can achieve 10 to 15% uh, of the uh, through output increase. But somebody will maybe ask, if you combine the expert kit with this hacks, what happens? It increase or decrease? Actually, I don't know. And I asked the, quest, the same question to the, our technical committee chairman. Uh, I also cannot give me a very exact uh, answer because they are a very new project, and uh, the two team hasn't uh, considered how to collaborate or uh, how to uh, work together. So, but uh, I think it's okay because for the AI is very new, and the AI stack is very 
uh, evolve very quickly. So for open Europe community, we encourage a uh, different team or different group. They can bring up their uh, project uh, individually, and uh, then finally, I think they can collaborate together. And uh, okay, finally, uh, every great project will have a, a funny name. Uh, we named the first release of uh, Open Euler uh, Intelligent Boo uh, by Food. Uh, that is de uh, decided by the technical committee. We will uh, follow this rule. Uh, for the first reason, uh, first release, I, as chairman of uh, Open Euler, I use a little bit of my privilege to name it by my hometown delicious food, uh, Hui Mian. It's kind of delicious noodle uh, from my hometown, Henan province. Uh, and uh, the AI stack evolved very quickly. So by the end of this year, we will have the second release of Intelligence Boom. So welcome anyone to uh, recommend your hometown uh, delicious food to name it. Okay, so that is the end of my presentation. Anyone, uh, anyway, so I think we uh, open yours target uh, in the late, uh, in the ne uh, next uh, three or five years will be put most of our resource and effort on AI uh, stack, and we will build the overall uh, AI uh, uh, open source pure AI, uh, open source stack to help you and uh, the company to uh, use AI more easily. And I know I think we will welcome. Uh, Developers, companies, or groups, they can get involved in the process. So I think we can do the AI Europe together. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.